What is going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be going over Walmart. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and add ourselves to task group real quick. Create task, select our mode. I'm gonna be going over all of these modes. So let's start with fast first. This mode is mainly used for consoles. But other than that, this mode will preload your information and you can also use an account with this mode. Next up we have server, which is of course server side monitored. This is always a watch task by default using the tags over here in this section. Now monitor is only meant for tasks that have watch tasks on. This will automatically ping them to start when the monitor has picked up the item. Pickup, you must use an account and Stella will select the closest location to pick it up at. Now account mode allows you to make multiple Walmart accounts in advance. These do expire, so it is recommended to do this a day or two in advance. Now let's go ahead and set up fast mode real quick. Let's choose our profile. Best proxies for Walmart is going to be Resis. Now our SKU, let's bring up our item real quick. Now the SKU would be these numbers right here at the end of the URL. Just copy them. Then you'd paste them right here. So say we're going to be running for a PS5, right? We're going to need our SKU and our offer ID. Now you can either get your offer ID from a Walmart monitor or a cook group. But luckily we have those in the Stella AIO Discord right here in the Walmart section. You can see we have the SKUs and the offer IDs. Let me just copy this real quick. Then we take our offer ID as well and paste it right in here. Now the best delays would be to use either 4,000 or if your proxies aren't good, use 5,000. So I'm just gonna do 4K. Quantity, of course, one depending on the item. Now your max price, you'd wanna do the item number retail price and add on like 15 or $20. So we're gonna do like 560 for a PS5. Now we have checkout attempts. The number you put here would determine the amount of times you want your task to attempt to check out the item. Now amount of checkouts. This is where you enter the amount of checkouts you'd like before your task stops. Moving on to accounts, we have four options. The first option is gonna be use profile account. Now if you choose this option, you're gonna be able to log in with your own account. You're gonna have to need to head over to sessions and make sure you input it there. And then after that, make sure your session email matches up with your profile email in order to log in. Now auto generate will automatically generate accounts using your kachow from the settings. Auto generate cookie bank will bring up the accounts you made earlier using account mode. Next we have auto generate plus. This is as well going to use your kachow from settings and automatically buy Walmart plus once you start those tasks. Moving on to capture provider, we have our inbot solver, two capture, cap monster, anti capture, Poseidon, and NYCD as well. There's going to be a link in the description as well explaining all of these. So I'm just going to choose two capture. And then we also have the option to automatically start and end our task. We have the option to watch task as well. We also have the option to preload your task as well. Now, this pre authorizes your credit card, and it is recommended to not run more than 10 to 20 tasks as well. Also have the option to use this as well. And we can also check or uncheck waiting for queue. Now if you're running for consoles, you should have wait queue checked once per item per account. And then you can run as many tasks per account that do not have wait for queue. So basically you can do one PS5, one digital, and one Xbox per account that has wait for queue. And then you can run as many as you want without wait for queue as well. So we're going to try and create. Next up we have server, so we have our profile, our proxies, our input list, we have a bunch of options, PS5s, any type of cards, GPUs. Now if you want to look at the list, you can come over here to tags, just find any of the Walmart ones, you can see all the SKUs. Let's go back real quick. So our input list, delay, of course, 4,000. Quantity, one or three, depending on the uh, item. 
card attempts, I'm going to leave that alone. Checkout attempts, I'm going to leave that alone. Account, three options. Our capture provider again. Automatic start and end time, and the option to use this as well. Let's go ahead and create that. On to monitor mode now. Now for monitor mode, you could either use ISBs if they're working, or resis. Just enter your SKU number here, your delay, 4,000 or 5,000, your max price, of course, your retail price, and then just add 15 to 20 dollars on top of that. Now monitor type is the way that the bot will monitor the item. We have main and mobile. Mobile will act as if you're monitoring from a mobile device. So we just choose mobile or whichever one you prefer. Next we have our reset delay, we just leave it how it is. Now we have allowed third party. Now you can either check this or uncheck it. Make sure it's unchecked because you do not want to pick up any of the products that are priced really high from third party sellers. Now we have solve PX. If you check this, it'll solve all the captures that come up. If you uncheck it, it will rotate through proxies rather than solve the captures that come up. It is completely up to you whether you want to use this option or not. You can go ahead and test it out to see what works best for you. But yeah, let's go ahead and create that. Next up, we have pickup, profile, proxies, of course, your SKU number, your offer ID, your delays, quantity, depending on the item, max price, retail price, plus 15 to $20, of course. We have radius. Basically, the amount of miles you're willing to go to pick up the item. I usually do 40, so I'm going to do that. Checkout attempts, and we also have the option to use an account as well. We have our pickup method, in-store or curbside. In-store, option to watch task, preload, and this option as well. Automatic start and end time. Let's go ahead and create that. And then we have account, our proxies. Delay, 4,000. Then we have max number of accounts. This is basically the max number of accounts you want Stella to generate for you. Next up, we have sessions. This is where you'd go to input your login info for Walmart. Just go to accounts right here. Click on Walmart and just hit add account, email and password and add it. Next up, we head over to settings and general. As you can see, we have Kachow here. This is where you would enter your Kachao email in order to use auto generate. As always, please let me know if this video was helpful or if you have any other questions, make sure to comment them down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.